Hey guys, welcome back for Trick Tip Tuesday. So today's tip, I'm going to talk about uh, how to easily hold uh, patch panels in. Um, and this would come in more handy on, say, a car that you're trying to patch a quarter panel or uh, another part of the car where you can't remove it, you can't fit clamps in it, uh, all that sort of thing. So, um, so essentially, uh, if you've got your panel, you've got a patch that you're going to be welding in. Uh, obviously, for starters, if you're trying to fit your patch in, you can uh, get it placed on here. You'll take a drill with an eighth inch drill bit and drill your holes uh, pretty close to the edge of your new patch. That way, uh, the end goal of what we're gonna be doing is put using uh, what we call panel grippers to hold the patch in place. And I'll show you how those work in a minute. But once you get those drilled and you're trying to do the final scribe for your patch, uh, you know, use some Clecos, which this is a Cleco here, the, the little copper part here. So uh, basically you have pliers, you squeeze them, and there's a little barb, uh, kind of like a fish hook on either side of these uh, little tangs on here. And uh, they'll slide inside of a hole, of, of an eighth inch hole on this size. Uh, and then when you release the plunger on there, it grips the panel and keeps your two parts together. So use a couple of those. To get a couple of those in here. And then your patch is held exactly where you want it. You can then scribe around there uh, and get an accurate location on where your patch is gonna go. So once you do that, so let's say real quick, once you get that all done, you get it scribed, then you get your hole cut out of your panel that fits your patch exactly. So We'll take these Clecos out of this one real quick. So you've got your hole cut and you've got your patch and your patch still has a little holes in it. Now, the reason for that, uh, for drilling them so close to the edge, like I said, uh, is to use these panel grippers, which are a pretty small little uh, tool here. There's kind of two sides and there's a threaded uh, kind of a really small bolt with a wing nut on it, essentially, uh, that goes in here. There's a knurling on the back side, and this piece is threaded. Uh, so basically, it's going to sandwich your metal in between the two little discs on here. So uh, how that works is you get your patch, your part lined up in your opening, and then with the holes that are pretty close to the edge here, you drop the little threaded part through there and you thread on the little part on the back side. And essentially what you're going to have is a little bit of an overlap between uh, your patch with this in it and your existing part. And so what that's going to do is is clamp both pieces together and also make sure that both of your pieces are even uh, to where the surfaces are even that way when you go to weld them in place uh, they're all located properly so uh, put one more on here so it doesn't really take a whole lot of uh, force or pressure to hold that in there and the patch is nice and flat uh, in the panel here and obviously, depending on the size of your patch, all that is going to depend on how many of these you're going to use. Um, and uh, each one of these grippers has about a 40 pound holding capacity. So uh, they'll actually hold a lot of weight. So if you've got a big patch and you don't need to put, uh, you know, 50 of these things in there to hold it in place. If you've got a big patch, and you want to um, go across a pretty large seam. You really can use just a couple of them here and there to hold that in place. So. Uh, check out Clecos and panel grippers, and uh, it makes a pretty unique way to hold your patches and parts in place uh, so you can get them uh, welded in and uh, get moving on to other things. So uh, thanks for watching this week's trick tip, and uh, we'll see you next Tuesday.